Hello, I'm Yontine Powell. This is Chapel Cottage Studio. And today I'm going to show you a little bit about populating your paintings. I've got a little street scene here that I've done. It needs some people. So let's find a way to do them. People is always very, very scary. But you know, it doesn't have to be. Some of these I'm going to do using my imagination. Some of them using pictures out of my sketchbook. But I'm going to begin with the easiest. I've got a little rail here. I've got some doors. So I have to decide how big my people are. We don't want them to be any higher than the doors or they can't get in the houses. And we don't want them to be teeny tiny or they can't reach the doorknob. So I'm thinking that people's heads in this picture want to be about by here. I think that'll be okay. So most of the people in this picture, I'm going to start off with some black paint, a little brush, and I'm simply going to put a dot for a head. Underneath the dot for a head, I'm leaving the tiniest gap, put my glasses on, and I'm going to do a carrot that goes down to the bottom of the railings. There's my first person. By the side of him, I think he needs a wife who's going to be a little lower. A stripe, a dot and a stripe. And there's your people to start your picture. I'm going to work my way along the railing, but there's another little trick here. Where you're in front of something light, put your people on in black to begin. If your people are in front of something dark, you're going to start them off with white. If this lady's a bit bigger and has got a coat on, I'm just going to come out in the middle and go back down to the bottom of the carrot. And there's a lady there. So let's put some people against the dark. Maybe she's got a little child with her. Slightly smaller carrot. Maybe there's somebody just a little bit further over. There we are, and two people together, huddled together. So you simply make the carrots on top of each other. It is extremely easy to do these people. Couple of pointers. Don't make the heads too big. Our heads will go twice into our shoulders. And what people tend to do is make a huge head, which would be like a beach ball on top of your shoulders. So make sure that the head could go twice across the shoulders. I'm going to go back into my black across here. I'm going to put a child here. Whoops. Children's heads are a little bigger, of course, than adults. Another child there. And maybe somebody else over here. And that's my first layer of people that are on the railings. Wash my brush out. Now, obviously, they don't all want to stay in black clothing. So black is my base colour to get them in. Then I can start to give them some nice clothes. Let's make up a little bit of blue and you simply dot it on and drag it down. Maybe somebody in a darker blue. Dot it on and drag it down. Let's use a bit of pink because I like pink in a painting. I think this must be a little girl. I think she's got a pink dress on. And maybe she's got a white pattern on it. There we are. Where we are, again, something a little darker here, I might put a little bit of white in with them just to get, get them standing out. And here where my people need to be paler, let's use some pale colours so we can see them against the dark house behind them. Use a little bit of red. I like red as well. And maybe we'll mix the colours up a little bit here. Maybe we'll add a little bit of yellow here. It's got some blue on my brush, so it'll turn out as green and that's fine. Pale it down a bit. And we'll finish some of these people in the middle. Then we'll move on to the next row. Oh, I don't want yellow. I was gonna put yellow on them, but there's a yellow house behind, so we won't put yellow on them. Put a bit of red. Put a bit of blue. And we can change the colors of some of their hair. If I mix up a bit of red, a bit of blue, and a bit of yellow, we're going to get brown. So you don't have to make a new colour. You can use what you've got. 
maybe somebody a bit older, maybe a white head. There we are. And maybe these people over here want a bit of colour on top. A little bit of yellow for somebody. There we are, so we change the colours a little bit. Now it may be that some of these are a little bit too bright, so let's give them a little bit of darker colour. Doesn't matter if they dissolve into the ground at all. So we've got our first layer of people, and all they are is a round and a carrot. Now, maybe some of them are carrying carrier bags. There it is. This one's got a carrier bag, there it is. Somebody's got a handbag, we'll put a little red stroke up there by the shoulder. Maybe this one has got a carrier as well. So we've got our first layer of people. Now, we've got a nice square here, so we need to put more people than that in. What I want you to notice is that if you're looking at a flat area, it's very tempting to want to put the next people further down like this, but actually everybody's heads are on the same level. So if I put a bit bigger head there and a bit bigger body, there's somebody closer to you. And let's put something happening on them. Maybe I'll give them some stripes because we're a little bit further up now. You could have a stripey jumper and maybe a hint of an arm, but not much. You really don't need much, and let's put some jeans. And maybe a bag. There we are, we got somebody a bit closer to us. If we want to get closer still, we're going to have to put in a little bit of detail. And I'm gonna to turn to my sketchbook. I'm always sketching people, and this is the times that we use them. I've got a nice group of three here that's in one of my little market sketches. So I'm going to use these to give me some inspiration and I'll do a group of people by here. So here's the head, back of his body goes out a little bit and into his trousers and then his legs go back. I'm looking at the general shape. The next person's a bit taller, body goes out here and the legs are gonna come down just a little closer than that one. Then I'm gonna have a gap. My third head is here. Note how the head leans forward from the body a little. Into the waist, down the back of the legs, which are a little bit shorter than these. Now I can fill in the front of the bodies. And his goes out and then back into his feet and his legs. This one's got an arm coming down here body coming across and again into his legs and feet. Oh, I might make him come out that way a little bit more. There we are. And this one I'm going to fill in as well. So I've got my little group of people in my black colour. Now I'm going to give them some clothes. Start with the one at the back. He's got a white shirt. So I'll put that on. It goes in under there. And we can see the back of the other guy that's talking to him. There we are. Put him on. I'll put a bit of light on his shirt at the back. So our light is going to be coming from that side. And he's actually got some ready colour trousers on. Slightly red. There we are. I think I'll put him in in what he's got on. There we are. Just put a bit of colour in. Wash my brush. Next guy has got a yellow top. So I don't really put lots of new colors on my palette. I just mix up what I've got and that'll work. So he's in yellow. Look how his back goes out from his head, back into his waist, back out to his legs. And there's an arm there. There we are, perhaps I can get his arm in with the same bit of paint. There we are, and he's got some shorts on I think I'll do them in blue this time and we'll make a little bit of flesh tone for the legs underneath there we are one two okay he's in 
The third guy has got a brownie colour top. Let's find a colour for him. A short sleeve. Goes out at the back down to his waist. Underneath his arm. There we are. And it's got some white stripes on it, which is always nice. They like to put some stripes on things. Really easy to do. And it gives you detail straight away. And some jeans. I'm not that worried about washing my brush out all the time. It's quite nice if the colours mix together a little bit. And down to his feet. And I've got a nice little group of three people with very little detail. A little bit more than the carrots, but very little. The important bit is to find the slope of the back and the slope of the legs to get them to stand properly. Let's give them some hair in some different colours. There we are. Maybe a bit paler on this one. You don't have to be terribly fiddly with your colours. You're just putting an impression on there. And I'll do one more person across here. Then we'll add some light to it all. Actually, I think this lady may have a skirt on. Let's give her some legs or boots. Looks like boots. Okay, there's a nice lady there. I'll use her. So if we make her a little bit bigger again, means I'm going to make a bigger head again on the same level as all the other heads. Come out to her shoulder. And there's her arm going into her shopping bag. And her back coming down here. Jumper coming down over her body. And her legs at the bottom. Quite a portly lady, there we are. Like so, and I'm gonna put a bag in there afterwards. So I've got her, got her silhouette on there to start with. Gonna give her a white top, because she's against a dark building. Now what's gonna happen is that my wet black paint is gonna mingle in, which is really nice, because it'll make my shadows for me without me doing too much work. Let's put a little bit of color into those shadows. just so they're not plain white. Lovely. And we'll put a little bit of light on this side where the light is hitting her. And again, we tend to wear blue trousers, you know. People tend to wear jeans or blue or black trousers. I'm always looking for that elusive person who's got some bright trousers on to put in my pictures. Here we are, there's her legs, she's got a carrier bag or a shopping bag which we'll put on just as a square by there. A little bit of white in it, that's gone a little bit see-through. There we are, we give her a bag and a little bit of flesh colour on her arm here. Here we are, bag coming off her arm and I think she's got white hair. I think she's a little older and she's got white hair. We'll get a little bit of light down the front of the trousers. And we'll just finish this off by putting some shadows on the ground. Because we've got lots of light and none of these people would exist if they didn't have a shadow. So I'm going to use, oh, a bit of Payne's Grey. Put a little bit of pink in it, make it a bit more exciting. And I'm simply going to take a little line Oh, I don't know that that's dark enough. A little bit more. Little line from everybody's feet going across. And then straight away they're all going to have a shadow and they will all exist. Just blur them a little bit. And you see it makes them sit solidly on the ground as soon as they've got a shadow. You believe that they're stood on the ground. There we are. Populate your paintings. It's not difficult. Thank you.